What's up guys, Glenn here back on the Function Power Sports YouTube and today we got a special new video we've never done before and we got our guest here, Gary. Hey, I'm Gary, I work in customer service here, excited to be here. Hell yeah. So basically we're gonna be talking about the off-road racing scene, some of the off-road races and this is something that goes way back into Gary's history of just growing up, his family background, because we plan on hitting the races this year. I'm excited so, for that. We got some more videos coming so let's dive into this. All right, so we got a couple questions we're gonna talk about today. And to start off, like I just wanna start from the very bottom here. Gary, what got you into the off-road racing scene? So uh, a little bit about my family background. I was actually adopted into off-road racing and adopted into the family that I'm into. Um, my family for generations has been off-road racing. Um, a lot of people in the off-road world might know my grandfather, farmer John Conitzer. He's a Hall of Famer and a legend in the off-road racing yeah. scene. Um, and then my uncle, who's Don Demony, he also off-road races. So we used to go to the races all the time growing up as kids. And at first, I wasn't so fond of it, um, going from a city kid living out in the country. But now I'm super stoked about it. It's what I do. It's my vacation. A lot of people go to Florida. I head out to Crandon, Dirt City, and stuff like that. So um, it, you know, 25 years old now. I've been in it for so long. My family owns a racetrack out in Lena. Um, and you know, we go all the time and that's what I like to do. So that, that's my vacation for everybody. Hell yeah. So, I mean, you got quite the background. So let's get into question number two here. So basically with off-road racing, there's a ton of classes. There's a ton of different vehicles in these races. Let's talk about the UTV classes and the machines that are involved here. So well, let's just run through the class list and what they could expect to see for UTVs at these races. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, there's a ton of them and there's a ton of drivers that are getting into them, right? And where it starts is it's always generational. Um, for me, it's generational. I'm not racing quite yet. I hope to be someday, but the biggest thing is you always want your kids to be into what you're doing and, and enjoy that. So 170 side by side and 570 side by side is where a lot of the kids start out. We're talking um, kids from the, you know, the age of nine and up yeah. that are racing in those classes. And they're, they're small little side by side, super safe. Um, you know, don't get that messed up, but they do, they do go at it and they duke some battles out. Heck they don't yeah. run full course usually when we go to the bigger tracks, they run a short course. I enjoy watching it because they're out there getting it down and yep. I wish I was doing that at that age. So, so I mean, that's just a starting point. So getting those kids in, even I know like there's a seven year old kid that we might be sponsoring this year just to, you know, kind of help push their family racing team. So starting from seven, you got the Razor 170, you got the Razor 570s. So what are we looking into as you get to that teenager stage or even just a young adult jumping into it? Yeah, so next is Sportsman Side by Side. And this is a class that's got a lot of people in it. Um, yep. So Sportsman Side by Side, honestly, you go to your dealership, you pick up a side-by-side, -side, you take it out to the track and race it. A lot of good guys in that class, a lot of my hometown where I'm from, I'm from the, you know, the Econo County area. I know a yep. lot of those guys that are in that class. So there's definitely a lot of people in that class and it's the more affordable class to get into. It's not the young side-by-side -side class, but it definitely is the most affordable class to get into. And like I said, there's a lot of people and it's definitely entertaining to watch because your heads turn in every single corner. There's so many of them out there. You don't know who's crashing or who's in the lead or what's going well, on. Well, so. machines are bashing and banging around oh, yeah. all the corners when they get grouped up. And oh yeah. Polaris definitely is, you know, in there big, but Yamaha's got that class pretty tied down. There's a lot of Yamaha machines out there, so. Yep. Hell yeah, so I mean, after the sportsman class, kind of the entry level, full-size UTV, what are we talking about after that? So basically, next is gonna be pro stock, pro mod, and pro am, and those are the pro guys. You know, those are guys out there with turbos. Um, those are guys out there, you know, all-wheel drive, obviously kicking it down, yep. um, higher sponsorship, faster, running full course. Um, those guys are bumping and banging all the time. That's obviously the more expensive class, um, but there's a lot of people in that as well. These classes are growing too. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want people to know that. It's affordable to get into side-by-side -side racing, and there's a lot of people doing it from when it started a lot of people weren't that into it yep. um you know everybody wants to see the full-size trucks getting down and bumping and banging but it's pretty awesome so Hell it's yeah. definitely something you should check out if you haven't um it's a lot of fun and sometimes the side-by-side -side races can be better than the big truck races oh geez. all right this so is... obviously there's a lot of classes gary there's a ton of different vehicles racing what is your favorite class on race day to watch so i'm a little bit biased um my family like i said we grew up in off-road racing so when I got into my family, when I was adopted into it, my uncle used to race super stock truck and stock truck. Yep. Um, super stock truck is by far my favorite class to race. Heck You'll yeah. see a lot of my local hometown um, family, friends out there in the stands hooting and hollering, sometimes louder than the pro races. That is my favorite race to watch. Um, second favorite's obviously gotta be the Pro 4. You can't beat 900 to 1,000 horsepower and four wheel drive going I mean, you into can't corners. Go wrong with yeah, that. going into corners at 100 miles an hour, you absolutely can't beat that. But to me, it's all of them, you know? Yep. Um, it, it's the sitting there and watching these guys go out there. And this is some of them, for some of them, it's their livelihood. Some of them are traveling from California 
to Wisconsin to race. So yep. it's fun to just go out there and watch everybody race and have a good time. But for my favorite class, it's definitely super stock truck. Heck yeah, we'll take it. I mean, I gotta say, mine's gonna have to be the UTV class because it's what I do. Right. But I mean, I'm excited to get out there this year and actually see all these trucks out there racing. And it's probably gonna fall in love with these thousand horsepower trucks. Who wouldn't? Yeah, absolutely. Heck yeah. Well, I think we got just one last question here. You ready to get into it? Let's get into it. So last but not least, before we wrap this video up, Gary, should Function Power Sports attend these local and Midwest races this year? Absolutely, you should and they should as well. Heck yeah, and I mean, Gary's onto something. He has been pushing the bit on this for over a year now, and I'm anxious to get out to these tracks. So I think you guys might see Gary and I out representing Function Power Sports at these races this year. We can't guarantee it, but if you do, I mean, we're gonna certainly try, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a sport that anybody can get into. A lot of people think with off-road racing or with any type of racing that you gotta be a big dog. You gotta be Red Bull or Monster or Rockstar to get in there. Anybody can be a monetary sponsor or a sponsor in general. Um, so for us to possibly have that opportunity and for it to be a vision has always been a dream of mine um, to be at the off-road races and this is huge. There's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of people that are looking for what we do and to have that help and that background out there questions we can even answer when we're there so yeah. there's always vendor room especially at dirt city you guys are always welcome there but there's always vendor room at any of these events and i'm excited to see you guys out there if you make it heck yeah we'll definitely see what we can do this year and obviously if you guys liked watching this video make sure to leave it a like below and comment down below too if you've been to these races if you're a local in the midwest watching this video let us know what your favorite racetrack is to go to obviously gary's vote is dirt city yeah it's gotta but, be dirt city i mean it's, it's gonna take all year for me to pick that number one track because we'll yeah. probably do a little recap there so uh yeah i mean that's all we got make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss our future videos right gary absolutely you yeah make sure to hit that. the bell too yeah hit that bell you want that notification and if you don't i mean man they're just missing out right yeah well with that that's all we got for you guys today peace see you later